Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. MochaLever, and let's continue destroying ships in the Pacific against the Empire of Japan. So today, or at least the day that this video does release, it is June 6th, uh, which marks the, apparently, the 75th day of the Allied invasion into Normandy in our timeline. So, in this timeline, that never happens, but in this timeline, we're probably going to have to invade Japan. Anyways. Uh, right now, we're just going to bomb the hell out of a bunch of Japanese ships as we move forward through the Philippines. Having a great time with everyone here. Hmm, everyone needs to be over here, please. Thank you very much. Give me one of you guys. Come over here. Uh, actually, you get up there. And we're bombing a bunch of ships. So, great to remember, you know, past things that have happened in your country's life, regardless of country. Anyways, uh, I do have some... Mixed news, I guess. I mean, just really one thing. Uh, yeah, if you like, take a look. These have all been grayed out. This is the default color scheme, which is honestly kind of pathetic for Hoi 4. Um, so when I started this up for you guys, it will have been yesterday. All the mods were capable of working with patch 1.7.0, but would not work with patch 1.6.2, which is what I'm currently running Kaiseric on. Because of that, I basically have only Kaiserreich and the three mods, the three music mods that Kaiserreich has, uh, on. So, that's it. I only have Kaiserreich and three music mods for Kaiserreich on, and that is literally it. Uh, it's pretty unfortunate. So, I have no state transfer tool mod, no colored buttons, no colored events, uh, no player-led peace conferences, which is ungodly unfortunate. And I think there was one more, but I can't exactly remember at the top of my head. But, so we're basically running a little naked here. A little Running a little naked in Kaiserreich. So, I just wanted to warn you, it might be a little drab. Oh, baby, you got hit hard. Who are you? Yeah, for you guys, yeah. Do not ever engage, because we did get blown the hell out last time. And I think it was maybe in yesterday's video, someone else. Someone said Bunker Man. I don't know, I forgot to look at all the comments because there really wasn't any yesterday, but that's fine. If you don't have comments, it's fine. Uh, but, yeah, you know, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Just kind of watching or doing this. Cool. Anyways, yeah, our main goal is to just bomb the hell out of the Japanese Empire. They have a crap ton of destroyers. They have so many destroyers, it's not even funny. However, most of their ships aren't really that great. They just have a lot of them. They have like over a hundred destroyers. Their carriers are all based close to Japan now because everyone is repairing since that one battle we had. And all the naval bombers are just, you know, telling the Japanese to screw off. But, uh, yeah. I think so far we're doing okay. We're doing definitely okay. Not exceptional, but okay. Uh, you guys go ahead and move up. And then just actually just come up this way as well. Just tell you guys to go ahead. Uh, we got some Japanese planes trying to attack our ships. And before I move on, God, this looks so dismal, just being gray. I wanted to make sure that we have enough ports, enough naval bases at least, for our ships to be okay. And honestly, we better start researching some anti, better anti-air so we can put them on our ships, but by the time we actually get them, they won't be really useful. God, where is your air bases, the Philippine Islands? I need air bases, man. Uh, you probably don't honestly need naval invasion support. Do patrols. That'd probably be best. Yeah, there you go. Just do patrols. I don't want you to engage, though, so... Ooh, you carrier are looking a little crazy there. You know what? I'm going to do something crazy right now. Go ahead and repair. Everyone, just repair. I just want to make sure that we have a healthy amount of ships for all sorts of naval invasions and whatnot. Because we definitely need, we'll need all of them. God dang it. Uh, good, good, good. Also, I've heard in the latest update for patch 1.7 that, you yeah, take that stuff, and you immediately take half you guys come over here, that they have nerfed submarines, I believe, or convoy rating in general. They have improved fire control. Oh, good, 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 good. Which would ultimately, right now, reduce the 
capabilities or rely it would reduce fire control reduces the reliability of your ships which i never use that's why i'm always on fire control zero since it doesn't give me any debuffs i've heard they've reworked that just a tiny bit so it might be okay to use but i'm not exactly sure so things to keep in mind honestly I don't need any bonuses for medium or light tanks since we are already we already have two modern tank divisions. So, synthetic resources, anti-submarine warfare technology sounds good, very nice. And then I'm gonna wait for my soldiers to get up here so we can attack a Manila. Oh, and actually we have an airbase. Oh, there's so many things we could use here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, get 200 more heavy fighters. They sound like they could be used very well in the Philippine Sea and as well as the South China Sea. Please don't train yet. And... Oh, we got so many naval bombers. Get 400 of you guys. I just hate that naval bombers don't really have that great of a range. So what I'm going to do is I'll put the 400 naval bombers to the South China Sea. But I'll put in a crap ton of tactical bombers because they have such good range. I'll put about 600 of you guys here as well. Well, you don't need to do strategic bombing. So you can also hit just decimate everything in the Philippine Sea because this is the most contested area right now in my opinion even though we do have some areas in the Mariana Trench here too Ooh, got a, a lot of destroyers oh yeah there was that one class cool 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 oh what's going on here okay so if you are good to go just go ahead and attack through the Philippines the liberation of the Philippines will be had So they're fighting pretty hard for uh, Manila. More organization for the carriers, great. More better sortie efficiency. This gives you better organization as well. And naval targeting, sortie efficiency, and less carrier overcrowding. Get more planes in the air, even when at overcapacity. Great. Nice, and now we're thinking a lot more, I guess a few more Japanese convoys. Not a lot more, but a few more. Really, my goal is to destroy the entire Japanese Navy, or at least reduce the Japanese Navy, which is down to, at a minimum, 150 ships, to the point where our ships can freely move about the waters. Now, if you wanted to get very modern day about uh, politics and ships, apparently, the People's Republic of China has sent three ships to Sydney. Okay, that's enough about modern politics. I don't want to get my channel completely destroyed. Anyways, okay, destroyer there. Uh, destroyer there. Oh, we lost a sub. That sucks. Ace pilot promoted. Ooh, improved light ship hole. Very good. Convoy sunk. Three more destroyers sunk, and another destroyer sunk. Uh, we'll probably need some Coast Guard. Oh, we already have Coast Guard divisions already planned. Dang, I'm efficient. That's awesome. Now nice, it's a cruiser and a destroyer. Just keep destroying all their screens so that when we do attack the Japanese forces and uh, their fleets again, then... They really can't do very much about it. Uh, where is everyone going? Ooh, another Japanese convoy. Good, good, good. Alright, so you have the good means, the good knowledge to go up that way. Awesome. From here, we will invade probably the rest of the Philippine Islands and maybe strike down here at the Ch Empire of Japan and then move back up north to Taiwan. And then to the Rikuyu Islands and then start bombing the living hell out of the Japanese mainland. Ooh, nice. Two, oh, 16 in exchange for a plane and two destroyers. And four more destroyers in exchange for another plane, followed by six destroyers and five planes. A cruiser and a destroyer for two planes. Very nice. Two ships. Uh, seven. And then three. Cool. Um, another thing about this, though, about this campaign, honestly, because of the way the update worked and some of the mods are working and some of the mods... Well, most of the mods are actually updated already but won't work with previous versions of Kaiserreich, and since we don't know when Kaiserreich will be available, I hope it would be soon, I'm probably going to finish up this campaign all in one day, so that I can be ready for the next campaign with the next mod in time when this campaign finishes. I, I don't, I used to do it like this, I used to make videos where I did like six videos a day, and then for the next six days I didn't do anything, but uh, I really don't like that because I just can't take your feedback or your comments on a daily basis, which I actually prefer to do. Because, you know, I mean, I prefer your feedback and your comments and how we can make this a little bit more fun, things like that. So, that's really what I'm probably going to do. So, just to let you guys know, let you guys be aware of what's happening. Um, 
I've really been thinking about what I'm gonna do for 500 subscribers. I really don't know. Maybe I won't do anything. Maybe I'll say thank you. That's it. But I really do want to create some sort of outro for you know my videos. I don't know how to do that, but I've been thinking that it might be a good time to maybe add in an outro or something like that. So nice. Four destroyers have been sunk. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And by the way, yesterday, a few days ago, that it was finally the what do you call it the three th third year of hoi 4 being out so that's actually pretty cool it's been out for three years it, i can't believe it's already been three years since the game's been out obviously i haven't been uploading a video since uploading to youtube since uh this game came out uh, oh we lost a sub oh we lost three more subs and then we well, sunk a japanese plane but you know it's been it's been weird i always loved playing hearts of iron but three years, man. Where has those three years gone by? Just, just kind of nuts to think it's already been three years. I don't have the new DLC, you know, the little stupid little uh, texture packs or model packs for whatever armies or countries. So, don't have that. Maybe I'll buy it someday, but at the moment, I'm probably not going to buy it. Cool. Go to a party, finish off the Philippines, and then we'll say we've done great. Ooh, we sunk. We lost a destroyer. That's not good. We lost a sub. Oh man, the Japanese have really been all out with their planes. God, this looks disgusting. It's all gray. Why is there no color? Why is there no life? Come on, guys. You can do better than this. Uh. Do they have an airbase? If they don't have an airbase, I don't really. Maybe I should. Oh, well. They don't have an airbase. I don't really feel like I need to attack this place. Someone else can. But since I don't have player-led peace conferences, since I don't have that mod on, the peace conference is going to make everything look extremely, extremely disgusting. Hmm. I do have coffee here, though. Oh. Hmm. Next step. It is... We're about 12 minutes into this video. Ooh. Messages and stuff like that. Let's see. Yeah, I've got to do something here. Their planes are attacking me too hard. I probably have to take out Taiwan. Or Taipei next. Taiwan, Taipei. Gaozhong. Yeah, let's go ahead and focus on that. We need to take out as many air bases as possible. So you guys will go here. I know this is extremely dangerous for our divisions to do, but it is a necessary evil that we must do. You guys come from here. Have you come? No, yet. Actually, I have to invade that area. Uh, that's fine. And since we have to invade this area too, I don't mind invading from Manila down to this area if that means we can do that as well. Awesome. Oh wait, you don't want that area. You want the actual naval base. Cool. Oh, we sunk a destroyer. Nice. Very nice. We lost a sub. And it looks like I'm going to have to add in at least another heavy fighter. Um, do the Philippine Sea. You guys, 600 is a little bit too much. 300, I guess do 150, because AI really likes 250 as well. I prefer 100 for each group. God, we could really use another naval base, though. Or air base, I mean. Oh, but I guess there's one here. Let's go ahead and add in 200 more heavy fighters, perhaps. Make sure that this region is firmly under our control. At least we have allies, but... You know, allies can only do so much. Nice, two more cruisers sunk. Oh, things are going on down here. They have a cruiser down here? Oh. Oh, there's a Union of Britain fleet down here. Oh, better radar. I love it, love it, love it. You guys, what is this? Director Fire. Still less reliability. It's 1947. Let's get some better radar as well. We get some better radar for that too. God, it's disgusting how gray this is. Uh, for this, get better radar here. Get better radar here. Just basically do all the islands if you can. At least the forward islands. Oh, dang. I need to increase my uh, level of... Uh... Yeah, that should be pretty good. I need to increase how many dockyards I have, actually, since we're already at max capacity. Um, Probably get rid of that, honestly. Increase it to 12, so we can repair as much and as fast as humanly possible. But add in a couple dockyards. Can I add them anywhere? Ooh, down here. And then add in one more here as well. So in our project, great anti-submarine anti warfare technology. 
Atlantic Focus or Pacific? Battleships, subs, and carrier models? Or destroyer battle cruisers battleship models? Well, I don't really use battle cruisers. I use all battleships, subs, and carriers, so I'll probably do this. So let's probably do that. God, I love 35 day uh, focuses. It's just so good. Great, 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 great. Just make sure you guys aren't taking too many hits. It looks like you probably had a capital ship in there before. But do we have any spare capital ships now? Yes, we do. Uh, this is a lot of destroyers in this one group. Ooh, how about you? Hmm. I'm going to split this guy off. Give me, like... Yeah, something like that. Come here. Come over here. You two merge. I know you're not going to get any sort of capital ship for that group, but then 22, that's not bad. Go ahead and add in, add him up here, and then you are repairing. Patrol. And now they're moving to the Mariana region. We've added another task force fleet, or task force in general, and that's pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. And I need you guys. Oh, 31. 30, well, that's not bad. I mean, 39 is not great for the Uno Porsche. Uno party. Uh, do here and then take off the Bismarck Sea. And I want you to naval invasion support just so that people feel good about themselves. So if people try to come and attack us, well, then they won't be as effective. And then we will invade. God, I gotta get rid of these Japanese planes. So bad. So bad. Another sub was lost, Jesus. It's like having aircraft here already isn't good enough. Oh, they get a lot of planes. About the same number as we do. We take less losses. Uh, we are already increased the amount of planes that we can put in here. We've already maxed out airbase capacity there. If I do it here, oh, you guys aren't doing anything. Uh, actually, come over here then, and do the Philippine Sea as well. I'm going to add in 400 more heavy fighters as well. Yeah, they can't do the entire Philippine Sea, but it's pretty good, actually. Nice, another Japanese convoy sunk. And more than halfway done to preparing and transferring. Great, 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 great. Suck on that, Japan. All right, go ahead and tell John Tisa and his men to move out, Philippines and Taiwan. Taiwan would be a great place for us to conduct good naval invasions. I don't want to invade the Feng Chen government. I'm going to leave that up to the international, but I really want the home islands of Japan. So, Besides, if we can get air superiority, I can feel like an American by nuking them. So, Lost two plants. Ooh, they have a heavy carrier. But because they have a heavy carrier... We might be able to sink it here. Two more Japanese convoys. Great. The more convoys we sink, the better. We lost an allied Mexican convoy, but we sunk a Japanese sub, which is great. They don't. The Japanese do not have many subs, but they do have a few, just like ten or so. Nice. We took it. We took it. Took it. Took it. Took it. Take all of you and come this way, except for one. And take uh take you and actually take this spot as well, you guys. Yeah. That'll be fine. Nice, more dockyards. Increase it up just in case. I don't want to not be able to reinforce when I need to. Ooh. And that's why I left some naval bombers hopefully over there. Nice, we invaded very nicely. Good job, guys. One come this way. And one come that way. Very nice. I want we have the airbase. And it is not great. Let's get in 800 heavy fighters and put in 400 go tactical bombers since I have so many of them we could probably use them all up. Nice. Uh, a couple extra dockyards, not bad. Probably because of the dreadnoughts we've been making, I could use more Ooh, advanced sub hole A1. Ooh, baby, yeah, please. Um, what do we have on you? Well, kind of garbage. Wait, you can actually add another fuel tank? Huh. More range and more speed, but compared to this. Uh, I 
don't really want to use these yet because I don't have better torpedoes yet, and that's the main thing. I could not use anti-air, but then, like, right now they're getting destroyed. Radar itself might be good for more sub-detection, but a snorkel is really what I like, even though I heard they did get nerfed. Sub-visibility, do that anyways. I'm not going to make these yet just because I don't really see a point to... Ah, screw it, we'll do it anyways. All right. And you go to subs... Probably Uno, actually. That'll be good. Yeah. All right. All right, all right. Nice. We can actually build this area up, which would be great. And if we get radar here, ah, oh, that'd be so good. Oh, I guess we'll build a port there, too. Why not? Um, air base, we did... Probably will need better infrastructure. And add some of that too, why not? You guys ready to go? You good to go? Cool. Heavy fighters, take half of you. Do at least the East China Sea, and actually I'm gonna add another 200 there. Uh, the South China Sea, we're gonna add one more, but then we'll add the other one up to the East China Sea as well. Put one down here, and then the other 300 will come to the East China Sea. Nice, nice, nice. You guys did a great job down here. Oh, you guys are actually coming up here. Um, I really don't want you guys to come up here. Since I do want to take out this portion, but I... Uh, hold on, let's see. Let's figure this out. So, subs. Oh, uh, but light... Uh, oh, wait, damage control. Oh, I should have done this before. Chance to receive critical hits. Fire control. Oh, I should scroll down some time. But coffee's pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, where's the other sub? Uh, give it four days and then I'll switch it out. Three days left. Ooh, what's going on down here? Oh, uh, our convoy's getting attacked by subs, but... Huh. Improved sub hull. Advanced sub. In the 11th, we should be good. Nice. Ooh, we lost a convoy. That's not good. We sunk a Japanese sub. Lost a convoy, but we sunk another Japanese sub as well. And it was almost June 11th. Cool. I guess we're going to make two subs at a time. Uh, put on another, probably another Dreadnought. Radar 3. Anti-air 1. Yeah, there's not, not really anything else here. Secondary, dual purpose. Ooh. Do we get more anti-air, but we get less light attack. Slightly less light attack, and slightly less, less light piercing. Uh, honestly, for the amount of anti-air you get, I'm going to go with that. Uh, secondary battery. Do you get more anti-air? Uh, yes, please. And actually, yeah, that's not too bad. Do that. Make you obsolete now. Do that. Come to Massachusetts, which is on the wrong side of where I should really be deploying you, but that's okay, since no one's going to comment on that, probably. And then do that. Let's see. Infinite, 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 and improved lightship hull, which actually we could probably improve our lightship hulls. Interwar. Yep, we get better depth charges. Oh, yeah. Do we get better torpedo launchers? Yes, we do, baby. Yes, daddy. Light engine fours, sonar two still there. Uh, fire control, fire control system zero. Yep, yep. And then dual purpose will give you less piercing, but more attack, more anti-air. Which actually, I'm going to do that because the anti-air systems right now are getting raped by enemy ships. Advanced light ship two. And actually, this is a light ship. Gonna let it speed up. Improved. Actually, get rid of that. Improved light ship. I want advanced light ships. Improved. Advanced. I have to go advanced. And then put you on Massachusetts. And then go advanced once some more. Advanced light ships. Nice. Awesome. To Massachusetts. And I could probably take off a few of these dockyards. Maybe about five. Ooh, we lost a plane. Put my coffee down. 
We lost two Soviet our allied convoys. We sunk a Japanese sub. Awesome. Why don't you guys come back down here? Why don't you come from here and invade? Uh, probably Brunei. Probably that would be okay. I want another three to come from the same... Sort of the same place. Go from Manila to invade the other port as well. That's all I'm probably going to need you for for that spot. You remaining three divisions will stay up here. Stay on Taipei. Taipei, Taipei, something like that. And then you stay over here because I'm going to build a new port there. Cool. God, they got... Oh, there's some Chinese ships over there and probably some planes eventually. Lost the plane. Happens, you know. Ooh. Some more Japanese subs. All right. Ah, two more Japanese convoys. Lots of planes. A couple of planes here and there. Yeah, pretty pretty typical. Pretty typical stuff. Not good, not good. Convoy lost. Pretty typical. Uh, where are the where's the Japanese ships? Hmm. They have about a hundred ships left. Wow. We have not encountered many capital ships as of late, but it does look like someone invaded. Australasia has invaded China. Ooh. Wow. Uh, good luck with that. Um, professionalize the Air Force. Oh, well, I guess we'll do that one next. We get two more flying aces. Great. Oh, we, there's an airbase over here that we definitely have to take out. Uh, improve that. I thought... Ooh. Nice. Another sub sunk. I thought it said, like, for improving the... For professionalize the Air Force was, like, an actual decision. Since I have so much political power, I got a little bit excited. But now I'm a little disappointed. You know, just like Hoi 4 in general. You're excited, then you're disappointed, but then you're really excited. But then you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> it looks like they're moving some fleet out here. Oh, oh! Yes, please keep your ships there. That would be great. Oh, we are losing some guys here. Uh, naval invasion support. Do some patrols. Actually, do some... Actually, no, you stay on naval invasion support. You, the patrol group, though. I'm going to add you over here now, too. That should be okay. We have quite a few um, guys here that can patrol. So... Oh, we lost three convoys. Ooh. Oh, we lost a division. God dang it. We actually lost a division, but we did sink, hopefully, the remainder of the Japanese subs. God, there's so many things going on here. So many naval plane losses. Or maybe just regular plane losses. I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to it too much. Planes, planes, planes. Ah, uh, they definitely have a lot of planes. But if we can destroy the amount of rubber that they can import, we will ultimately destroy the, the number of planes that they can produce. So that would be really great. Uh, there's some Japanese ships down there, huh? Nice. Oh, there's a Japanese fleet over here. That's not good. I still have a few planes over here, so... Uh, actually, over here, I have no planes. Well, let's go ahead and add in, like, 100 heavy fighters and then another 200... Oh, actually, 200 naval bombers. Yeah, there you go. Just in case, just in case you might find a little tittle-bittle there. Cool, cool. And then go ahead when you can. I want to get rid of all their access. I really want to know how much uh, rubber Japan can import. Let's take a quick look. Sunk a Chinese ship. Sunk a Japanese ship. And we're slowly whittling away at the health of several docked Japanese ships in exchange for a lot of our own planes. Cool. Alright, Japan. Tell me this. Tell me, baby. You have... Hold on. Less than 100 ships. Great. They have probably around a little more than 700 convoys, which is not good, but, you know, it's a work in progress. That's what this is. We have begun an invasion. We have invaded successfully. Uh, go ahead and just take everything around here. Great, great, great. I was surprised that there's actually divisions down here. But, you know, I've been wrong about things before. 
Yeah, I mean, just keep blowing up whatever ships you can find. We lost a sub, which is unfortunate, but, you know, they're, they're they to be used in that fashion. Lost three planes, lost two planes, lost two planes. Sunk a Chinese ship. Ooh, sunk another Chinese ship and three enemy planes. Probably lost a couple planes. There are quite a few Japanese planes down here. Uh, we probably want... What is that? Philippine? Filipino? Hmm. Go ahead. I want you three to just meet the rest of the guys up there. So, if you can, great. If you can't, keep trying. Go ahead and garrison this area, too, when you can get up here. We're going to need a lot of uh, guys. Awesome. Make sure America's okay. Cool. Uh, since we are using so many of these Coast Guards, I'm going to take off a couple of these guys. Um, I don't think we're going to attack, get attacked in the East Coast. So I'm going to take those guys off. But you know, I could always be wrong. Only a cruiser. That's fine. Mm. Uh, production. Yeah, I definitely need more Coast Guards. I'm not even going to look at these anymore since they're not really that important. Our guys are moving up, liberating, helping liberate all sorts of different places. But I will look at this one. Keep sinking ships. Keep doing your damage. Can I, I can add 200 more planes or so here. Hmm. Uh, probably the best naval bombers I can get. Well, let's take a quick look. So we're getting that battle. We lost against a Dreadnought. We're going to add in 200 more naval bombers. Let's, so be it. Just dock all your ships here. That'd be great. And that was really laggy. Holy smokers. But we did sink a Dreadnought. An improved Dreadnought hole. Yes. Oh, looks like someone just got smashed down here. And we just researched something. Cool. What was it? Oh, but are we better sub stuff? So we get now better... We will get better sub capabilities and torpedo revealed chance. Which is extremely good to have. And it looks like the Australians were pushed out of China. Who would have thunk that that would have actually happened? Hmm. Oh, looks like some of the French leaders here. That's nice to have them. Oh. And Transamur subs. Alright then. This is looking extremely disgusting. I did not know there were divisions still up here, but it looks like we have some allies actually in Brunei. Very good. Take this guy's out. Take this guy's out. Professionalize the Air Force. Great. We can do Fighter Command, eh, which is okay. Air Doctrine, which is not needed, I think. Yeah, we're done with our Air Doctrine, so... Or Strategic Bomber Models. I'm going to go Strategic Bomber Models just because we don't have any. I think. I need to make some. So, yeah. Definitely need to make some, but we are pretty much over our time. That's all the time we really have for today. So basically, what have we accomplished? We've accomplished liberating the Philippines. We have successfully invaded and taken over uh, Taiwan and Taipei. And actually, oh, we can add more naval bases, yes, or more airports and stuff like that. Put all this stuff on there, yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. And we are slowly, well, I guess technically losing more planes, but we are attempting to starve the Japanese out of supplies and whittle away at their navy as well as air force. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we can hopefully encroach more and more onto Japanese territory. Thank you very much for watching, guys.